Microsoft just put out a statement trying to justify their deal with Activision saying that they are not wrong for doing it. And a lot of people are calling them out and saying that they are lying because the statement that they put out doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So we'll get right into that. But before we do, please do leave a like in this video if you found it helpful. It will help more than you think. We'll also be discussing other news. So stay tuned. Let's get right into it. This is another episode of the Daily Gaming Report. Hey what's up guys, OP Gamer here. So our first news of the day is that Microsoft have just justified their $68.7 billion purchase of the Call of Duty publisher. As reported by Rock Paper Shotgun, they told regulators that the company doesn't produce must-have games. Microsoft defends Activision Blizzard buyout by saying the company don't make any must-have games. Quote, specifically, with respect to Activision Blizzard video games, there is nothing unique about the video games developed and published by Activision Blizzard that is a must-have for rival PC and console video game distributors that could give rise to a foreclosure concern, read Microsoft's response to the New Zealand Commerce Commission. Published in a report from June, that means that Microsoft doesn't consider their future ownership of Activision Blizzard's franchises such as Call of Duty to cause issues that will prevent their rivals, among whom they identify Valve in the PC space, from competing against them. They also mentioned that Call of Duty alone has raked in $27 billion for Activision Blizzard since the series debuted in 2003. And I have to say, I absolutely don't agree with what they're saying here. I mean, I can think of many reasons why Microsoft bought Activision, but saying that they don't have any must-have games is definitely not one of the reasons. Call of Duty is one of the most popular and most beloved series. Whether you hate it or love it, you can't deny that so many people buy it every single year, and then every year it's in the top 5 best-selling games on either consoles or PCs. There is no doubt that Call of Duty is considered a must-have game for the majority of multiplayer gamers worldwide. So them saying that it is is not a must-have title. I do have to disagree with that. Even though I am not a fan of Call of Duty, I used to be but not anymore. I still can say that Call of Duty is one of the best-selling games of all time and one of the most successful series ever. But let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section down below. Moving on, we have two games that have been rumored recently and both of these two games had their rumors shut down by the developers. The first one is Star Wars Jedi Survivor. If you guys are unaware, this game recently got rumored and apparently the release date got leaked for it. But the CEO of EA shut Shut those rumors down. As reported by TheGamer.com, the rumor that Jedi Survivor might be launching in early 2023 was recently supported by the PlayStation database listing it with a March release date. Despite this, it looks like it might be best to wait for EA to officially announce a date as the company CEO, Andrew Wilson, has seemingly shut down the rumors during an earnings call. This is what Wilson had to say. I think the advice would be to not assume anything. And obviously people took this as him shutting down the rumors. And the other rumor that got shut down, but not in the way you think. This wasn't actually a rumor, this was a leak. And it is about Tomb Raider. And when I say they shut down the rumors or the leaks, they took it literally. The leaks were true actually. So Crystal Dynamics issued takedowns once they noticed the leaks of Tomb Raider. As reported by Eurogamer, Tomb Raider developer Crystal Dynamics has issued a DMCA takedown notice to the Sacred Symbols Patreon, which leaked the audition script in question, and in doing so pretty much verified the details are accurate. Sacred Symbols has since released a video about this takedown, saying that the company had forced our hand on the matter. In this video, host Colin Morardi stated they DMCA'd Patreon to have them ask us to take down the offending audio of us talking about the new Tomb Raider game. I was acting on the notion that this is fair use. This is general interest. This is of huge general interest. He also added, I didn't break into Crystal Dynamics to steal it. Now I did hear the audio and I gotta say, I don't think they really leaked anything. It just seems like they were having a general discussion. But if they did break the NDA rules, then I can't really blame Crystal Dynamics for this. I mean, the whole point of NDA is to keep leaks out of the public. Our last topic of the day is that apparently there is another Marvel game that is being developed developed by EA. Now keep in mind this is a rumor and it is best to take it with a grain of salt. As reported by PlayStation Lifestyle, new Iron Man game could be in the works at EA. A new Iron Man game is rumored to be in development at EA according to known insider Tom Henderson. This is in response to another rumor by Giant Bomb's Jeff Grubb on the Game Mess Mornings podcast where he said that EA was making another Marvel game that's single player in addition to an alleged Black Panther game. Henderson says that he never had anything concrete to fully report that this Iron Man game is real. And this is the tweet by Tom Henderson. I've heard a few rumors that it's Iron Man, but I never had anything concrete to fully report on. Put this heavily under the rumor category for now, and if I hear see more information that's concrete, I'll report on it properly. Just thought it was worth mentioning. So I mean, 
think Jeff Krupp and Tom Henderson are two of the most reliable insiders, and so I think the rumored Marvel game is definitely coming. Now, in terms of it being Iron Man, again, like Tom Henderson said, it is very much a rumor. But let me know, are you excited for another Marvel game by EA? Keep in mind, this is single player, so they could do something similar to Guardians of the Galaxy, which I think is the right path to take. But as we know, EA is not the best when it comes to these games. Let's just hope for the best. That's all the news for today. Again, if you enjoyed this video or found it informative, please do leave a like on this video, as that will help a lot with the YouTube algorithm and help me make more videos like this. Also, hit the subscribe button for your daily gaming news. And don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to never miss any future uploads. That's all for me now. I'll catch you next time.